you have to have your face mask, your handkerchief, your bandana, or you will not be allowed to enter the store. You must have your face covered. If you are using a reusable bag, we will sanitize the handles right here at the door, and you have to sanitize your hands before you go into the store. Please do not wear gloves before you get into the store. Are my instructions clear so that everyone can understand? When we speak about 40 items, that also includes multiples. We have to practice social distancing, and I can see that this section right here is already in contravention. So please, we are asking you to practice social distancing. This store is considered a large location. In the first instance, 70 people will enter this store. 70 persons will enter this store, so the line will move quickly once you open at 9 o'clock. If you follow the instructions, we will be able to service everyone. Even looking at the line now, I can tell you that everyone will get into the store. We have the experience, the system is working, all you have to do is to follow the rules. Thank you. Well, my wife has been in the line from uh, about 20 past 6. That's my wife. About 10 to 5 to 6. About 5 to 6? Yes. Uh, how long away have it been? Pardon me? Well, from that time on, she had been used to. Fifteen, sixteen minutes past eight. Uh huh. Wow. I must say, I'll be sitting this morning. Think of You take him a picture. Yeah. So, how early you got it this morning, sir? Five o'clock. You got it five o'clock. And what time you been here? Six o'clock. Six. And how far you had to travel from to get here? Six in. Operations Manager of Barbados Council for the Disabled. Um, I'm out observing the uh, elderly and the disabled and how they are coping in um, lining up. I know it's very orderly and I know I think the supermarkets are doing their best um, with the two hour given to them. I think this is critical that they do need to adjust time for persons with disabilities and the elderly uh, to get into the supermarket. First to consider is that they have to take extra time to get ready. When they come here, they have to take extra time getting out of their car. They have to stand in line with a chair most of the time or with a cane or any kind of mobility device that they need. That slows them up. So when that slows them up, they're gonna slow them up inside the supermarket as well. So it's double slow cross pro progress there because can you get all of that done in two hours? You've seen what's happening here already. I've been by popular. Uh, that is another one. People are trying. I know people are trying their best to keep the social distancing. I um, honestly, I admire the elderly in how responsible they're taking this. But it's hard because the sun the, the time frame, it just needs to be reconsidered. I think an entire day, normal shopping day, would have been much better for them. And this is for and more particularly the vulnerable people? Yes, the elderly and the disabled, which is the two hours they have today. And then on Tuesday, they have uh, 8 to 11, which is just an extra hour, but that is divided up into bank as well as shopping. So even if these, some of these decided to go, okay, we can go Tuesday. They're already saying, I'm going to go to the bank Tuesday. So they have to split that three hour now into the bank and to shop. And again, you've got to consider if you're offering this service to the elderly, give them the extra time. I think a, a longer period of time, like if marks usually open up the four or six o'clock, give them that time. And you won't have this long line, you know, people with 
take the time getting down here, knowing that they don't have to rush to get down here. You know, you've got to understand the accessibility is a big issue. You were telling me earlier when we were chatting on official that you um, started to give out water to some of those. Tell me how that process went. How many okay. how many waters do you think you would have distributed um, in the time well, We came with a case, case load, and I stopped by Oystens and we gave out some at Oystens. Uh, price low was kind of good. They were not too bad. Um, price popular was another long line. I am surprised actually to see this um, lengthy line here, but my surprise is that I think I'm concerned that by 11 o'clock they will not get in. But I understand from the guys here from the supermarket, they said they're not gonna, they're gonna let them go in. But I don't know how they're gonna do that. They need a cutoff point. So this is a consideration these supermarkets, at least here at Big B, is trying to um, uh, handle on their own. So this is something the community will be looking to write the government on or? Right, I am hoping that the media would get this message out to them because in, at this time, you know, there's not much you can do in terms of writing them, but we are going to try and contact them and let them know that the two hours is insufficient. Already, we have to struggle with this time frame. On a normal basis, a person with disability got to, got to prepare, even the elderly got to prepare and take time to get out and then they, um, they got to get the transport. Then stopping here, you could even see they're taking so much, so many extra minutes just getting out of the car and taking the chair out because they know they got to sit. No, with extended time, I think it would be a lot easier. Just, you just need to reconsider that. But I admire that people are practicing social distancing. I, I respect the elderly for that. They are very civic minded. So they give the old people, the old geezers, a little water to drink. They didn't bring that to eat, though. How are you all feeling right now? Oh, me? When I get home, I get hit the bed. And I can get up about six this evening. I'm tired. Now, I know some of what you're seeing may seem a bit rigid. Some might even say inhumane. But the government here has been doing its best to make sure all Barbadians have access to all essential services whether it be the supermarket, um, doctor visits, dental visits, gas station for fuel, hardware stores, the basics are all open here, but under certain conditions where you're allowed to shop based on the first letter of your last name. For the elderly and the disabled, they have two days per week to assess the supermarkets and banking services. Yes, it's not enough time for them they do move slower by nature they do need a bit more time and hopefully this will change soon the government has been tweaking its rules you know to accommodate as things go along for those of you who are in other parts of the world let us know how your government is dealing with the pandemic and ensuring that all citizens have access to essential items and services. Despite what some may think, our government is being praised for the efforts and responding to the COVID-19 by the World Health Organization. You can see the clip right here. To the Prime Minister of Barbados and the current Chair of the Caribbean countries about the challenges faced by small island developing states in gaining access to test kits and other supplies, no country should be left behind. And I would like to use this opportunity to appreciate the strong leadership by the Prime Minister of Barbados steering the response in the Caribbean.
Okay, so how was your shopping experience this morning? It was great actually. I was surprised the there was only line and when you got into the supermarket it was relatively light. So I think everything's tapering out now. People would have probably exhausted the shopping um, experience and no, it's just a matter of maybe maybe, you know, persons getting stuff that they might have missed before or something, but hardly anybody was in there. All right, that has been another update on COVID-19 here in Barbados. Let us know if you're enjoying these videos. Let us know how things are happening in your parts of the world. Let us know what else you'd like to see concerning Barbados and what is happening during COVID-19. Don't forget as usual to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.